Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Recently at CES, I was able to go hands-on with 1X players' all-new Apex handheld and their Super X 2-in-1. As CES wraps up, they're going to be shipping both of these devices to me, so keep an eye on the channel. I'll have full videos on both of these. But the first one I wanted to start out here with was the Apex, and we've seen this for a few months now. I believe they had their Indiegogo successfully wrap up recently. And if you're not familiar, what we've got here is an 8-inch handheld gaming PC with a detachable battery, a liquid cooling option, and the AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus 395. That's right, I did say liquid cooling because around back here, it's got a little hatch that you can open up. And if you opt to pick up their liquid cooling system, you can attach it directly to the back of the unit. Now, it's kind of a standalone system, so you're not going to be carrying this thing around while it's liquid cooled but you can bring the wattage way up. Obviously, it's gonna keep that CPU, or rather APU, nice and chilly. Up to 120 watts here, but to tell you the truth, I did see this in action on their upcoming Super X. It's pretty bulky, and I'm not exactly sure how many people are gonna pick this up specifically for the Apex. It is a cool concept uh, to have. If you wanna go into dock mode, you can set this up with a liquid cooling system. But in handheld mode, this thing is still gonna perform absolutely amazingly. And that's because this is powered by the AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus 395. We've seen this in several different devices. It's got 16 cores, 32 threads, all based on Zen 5. You can get this with up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory, running at 8,000 megatransfers per second. It's got that Radeon 8060S, which is a 40 compute unit RDNA 3i GPU. And as for the display, We've got a 120 hertz VRR 8 inch IPS with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. We've seen this display in other handhelds on the market like the MSI Claw 8 AI and even the Legion Go S. It's a nice screen and of course going OLED would definitely be the way to go, but that price would be way up there. And I guess the only people doing that right now in like an 8 inch form factor or 8.8 .8 inch form factor is Lenovo with their Legion Go 2. This also features a detachable 85 watt hour battery. They will be selling a standalone charger for the desk and you can opt to buy a couple extra batteries. That way you can kind of hot swap these when you're on the go. We were able to test a few games on it at CES and uh, in kind of our private demo, we took a look at a little more and that'll be coming up on the channel. Like I mentioned, they're shipping both of these devices out so I'll get a chance to really go in depth with them. Ergonomics are great here. I mean, it's not life-changing or anything like that, but it does feel like a really comfortable device. It's got locking triggers around back, and personally, I do like the overall look, but I do wish they had the white variant with the gold accents like they originally showed off with their renders a few months ago. But other than that, I mean, I think this is going to be a solid device, especially given that it's powered by that Ryzen AI Max Plus 395. The next device I was able to go hands-on with is their upcoming Super X, which has a beautiful 14-inch AMOLED display. Obviously, it's a 2-in-1 style, and it's still powered by that Max Plus 395. And the Super X also offers a liquid cooling solution, which is something we did get to kind of take a look at. Personally, I love the idea. This is something that's been thrown around for a while, but this is the first time that we've seen it implemented. The cooling station or the cooling dock itself will plug directly into the back of the Super X. There's a little hatch that you can opt to remove or keep on, and obviously it's going to circulate liquid through the cooling system. I wasn't able to do any kind of thermal testing or anything like that, and if I can get the cooling system along with the units, I'll do it on both, but I'm not exactly sure if they're going to be sending that over or not. And keep in mind, with the Super X, there's actually two different variants. So you can pick one up that supports the cooling system and one that doesn't support the cooling system. But both of them are going to be powered by the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395. Again, Zen 5, 16 cores, 32 threads, up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory, that 40 compute unit Radeon 8060Si GPU, and a 120 hertz 14 inch AMOLED display, which does support variable refresh rate. It's got a resolution of 2880 by 1800, and the battery size on this is coming in at 85.58 watt hours. Given the chipset that both of these devices are powered by, we can expect some really good performance. And one thing I wanted to mention here is with the Apex, they'll also be offering it with the Ryzen AI 385. 
kind of a cut down version of the 395. It's got eight cores, 16 threads, and the Radeon 8050 SI GPU with only 32 compute units. But that iGPU is still outperforming any other iGPU in a handheld on the market right now. So it's a great performer, and the price is a bit lower than the 395 variants for sure. So yeah, I'm really excited about both of these new devices from One X, and keep an eye on the channel. Both of these are on the way. I've already received shipping confirmation. So I'll have full videos on the Apex and the Super X coming up really soon. So if there's anything you want to see running on these devices, just let me know in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you want to learn a little more, I'll leave links to One X Player's website. And like always, thanks for watching.